All right, guys, we are here at Ultimate Call Out Challenge, and our boy Plow, Plowboy Diesel here has brought a very cool custom Dodge truck. Uh, what year is this here? 1970. 1970 truck. And he did a little bit something different under the hood. Uh, what, what, uh, what was the inspiration behind this? What, 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 why did you want to do that? Well, we just, uh, we happened to have a first gen Dodge and they opened the hood one day and we thought, wow, it looks like there's enough room in there for two. <laughs> so we went in the shop, grabbed the tape measure and there's not enough room for two of them in a first gen, but there is in one of these trucks like this. We happen to have a truck like this, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this truck actually does look pretty wide. Is this something kind of wider than normal, or? Well, I guess these old Dodgers were kind of a you know, shoebox style, mm -hmm. kind of a little wider than most trucks. So the, the uh, frame has obviously been reinforced, or you uh, the doing custom, or? It's full custom, front to back. custom. Four corner airbags. Um, <laughs> Triangulated four link rear suspension, radius rod front end. There you go, very nice. Uh, anything special going on with the motors? Are they all stock or, or uh, what do we got there? Mainly mainly stock, maxed out fuel pumps. Injectors. So just the little things like that. Yeah, quad turbo, or yeah, two turbos on each engine. So each one is a compound turbo. Yes. So four turbos rather than the competitors who are only running three, you know, right? I guess. <laughs> And uh, how how'd you uh, get that radiator set up going on? You got a custom core made, or? Oh, this is uh, the intercooler. Oh, that's the intercooler. Yep. It's the inter so what are you what are you running for a radiator? Then? We've got uh, the coolant comes out of the two engines tied together, runs mm -hmm. into the frame rail. Yep. It goes through the frame rail to the back of the truck where there's a radiator on the driver's side. Yep. Sorry. It crosses over under the bed to the passenger side radiator and then comes back up under the truck cab through the other frame rail back into the engine. There you go. Very integrated. Nice. And it, so is it the intercooler core just uh, off the shelf item or? No, that was uh, sponsored by a radiator supply house out of Oregon. That's full cool custom. Yeah, that's pretty big excellent right there. Excellent job. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, it's got the 24 valve radiator. <laughs> it runs now. It does run now. Yeah. All right, and for uh, how'd you uh, connect them in the back? Uh, one transmission, two? How many? There's one transmission. There's a, a gearbox, sort of a transfer case that ties the two engines together into one output shaft. And it's just got a you know, regular style transmission on it. There you go. Cool. All right, well, thank you, uh, Plowboy Diesel, and uh, All right. we'll be looking forward to, to your next project. All right, thanks for the interest. <laughs> All right. <laughs>